today. You will need an iPad with two apps, the camera app and the green screen app by doing. And you will need a green screen and an actor for your green screen. All right, for today's project, we're gonna be doing opening the camera app. And I prefer to take the picture sideways just so we can get a bigger angle. And we're gonna be doing a project where you are gonna, this is gonna be our background. So I'm gonna take a picture with the camera because this will be our background. Snap a pic and you're ready for the next step. All right, for the next step, I'm gonna open up the camera again. My iPad is already sideways, so I can get a full bigger screen. And this time I'm gonna switch it to video. Notice that when you switch to video, it is going to be a little more zoomed in, so you have to walk back a little bit. All right, and then you start recording your actor of what he's going to say about his project. This is my Aunt Jessie. My name is Jessie. All right, now that you have recorded all your videos that you will use for your green screen, and you've taken the picture that's gonna be in your background, in this case, we took a picture with our camera, but you can download pictures from the internet and use whatever now picture what? you want. So, no. we're gonna open. Are you serious? I'm recording right now and you're talking. All right, now that you have recorded all your videos that you're gonna use to add a different background to, uh, there's. So, now that you have recorded all the videos of your actor in front of the green screen we can move on to the next step which is opening the green screen app when you open the green screen app you will get this screen this is all the previous projects that we've created if you go to the top right you can see the plus sign you're gonna click on it to create a new project all right once you're in the green screen app you can see on the bottom right, there's three plus signs. Each plus sign represents a row, a layer of the video. The top layer is what you want at the very front, and the bottom layer is what you want in the background. So the first thing that I'm gonna add is my background, which is gonna be the picture of the altar. And here it is picture on my altar under image I clicked and I'm gonna select the picture and this is now going to be my background now we can add the top layer which is going to be a video of that we recorded in the green screen of our actor in front of the green screen and we can look for the videos and here is going to be our first video All right, here is how it will look when you add your background, the bottom layer, and then the first video of our actor in front of the green screen. As you can see, it automatically took off the background and it's just our actor now. But you can see that our actor is a little too big. I wanna make it look like he is in the video, so I am going to use two fingers to pinch and make my actor a little smaller and he said he wanted to be standing right here next to the table right here so it looks like he's sitting down there all right now notice how there's a part that was not the green screen that was off the green screen so i will um i will use the crop symbol right here at the at the bottom right you can see the first one is a mask and then but i, I don't want to use that i'm going to use the next one which is like two 90 degree angles crossing each other which is the crop and i am going to crop it in where to make sure it's only green screen so i don't have that extra gray stuff that is not supposed to be and you see now it has deleted and all you have right now is your actor you gotta make sure that the actor green screen is selected make sure you don't have it in in the bottom layer because then you're gonna start moving the back layer which is no good
All right, you want to make sure your top layer is the one selected and then you can move them to wherever you want. Once you move them wherever you want, and you can press play to check how it's working. Hello, my name is Jack, and this is my crazy Aunt Jessie. All right, you see right there, he wanted to point at his aunt, so I need to move him to right here, right in front, or right here, so we can see the stuff in his background. And so he's pointing up to his Aunt Jessie. Hello, my name is Jack, and this is my crazy Aunt Jessie. And there you go, that's our first part, with our actor in there. Okay, for this next step, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna add another video. Again, make sure you're on the top layer. I'm gonna put video. And here's the mistake that my actor ran into that we noticed at the end. Again, use. Uh, notice again, I'm making them smaller. And I am I need to crop that thing on the left so I go to the crop and take that off that's unnecessary done and then it's perfect so let's see the video now um so this cup right here represents the favorite drink margaritas um that that bag of Julio's chips represents a favorite food and that bowl uh, that white bowl represents queso when the plate has chips in it. Um, up here you can see I put a bunch of stickers for hockey. You see how that gray right there, is showing again? That means I, I need to crop a little bit more from the right. That is not necessary. So I will do that before I continue anymore. All right. So I'll go to crop. And just bring it in a little bit more just to make sure that doesn't go into the picture for future um, takes on the video. As you can see here, I've been using the same background throughout the whole video. But th for this next part, I want to switch that background um, for my next video just so I can have a different background on it. So I'm going to go to the end where uh, my actor... Uh, disappears or uh, the last part of the video and I'm gonna make sure that the bottom is clicked and when you see when I click the bottom you do get some extra options and I'm gonna click on trim which is the first option and that will take away that background so I will no longer have that background so I'm gonna go to on the plus sign again on the bottom layer because that's my new background and I'm gonna click on image and I am gonna select a different image for this part, I guess I'm going to choose this blue bars right here. And that's going to be my new background. And now I want to add a different video. So I'm going to add, go to the top section, go to the plus sign, click on video. And I will use this last part. Again, notice how my actor has his stuff and on the sides you can see that X's that we don't want so again I click on the crop button and then we push in from the sides the unnecessary stuff we don't want in our video just leave my actor and the green screen and there it is and then you can move them resize them whatever you want I just want them like right here I hope you like my presentation and I'm just here to say, Feliz Dia de los Muertos! And that is it. Alright, for this last part, I'm going to show you what this middle layer that we haven't really used on in this video uh, is used for. So, so you can see my top layer is my actor in the green screen bottom layer is my background and then the middle layer it is to add another floating image that you want on top of the background kind of like think about it the bottom layer is the very back second layer is another layer on top and then your third your top layer is what is at the front 
the very front so I will click on image and I will click on my images and I'm gonna select just this um, random picture that I found of a uh, tricycle now you can resize it as well to make it like a floating object or something let's say you uh, he was talking about tricycles in in this part I can add this now you can see it's behind him but on top of on top of the background so that's what I meant when I meant it was the like the middle layer but you can leave it like that or in this case we can use the mask option the, the that is the layer next to the crop if you click on that little mask um, you click on it and we can use this to remove the white background so you don't have a block there that's in case you want it to be like just the tricycle and not the nasty white background it has on it so with the on the top left you can see there's like a little magic wand selected um, you can just click on the section on the white and boom it all disappeared and like if you can see in between the wheels there's still some white there you can click in between the wheels but see sometimes it might erase like on that one it erased like the little spokes but or you can just leave it like that I that works for me so I'm not really gonna mess with it anymore you can zoom in and kind of like go a little bit more into detail but I'm just gonna leave it like that like this white part right there I'm gonna leave it so I'm gonna press done now and boom this is now just the tricycle and not the white background that's using the mask um, editing tool right there next to the crop and again you can resize, uh, resize it and put it where you want and yeah that is it that is how you create a green screen video the final part is when you're done you can click save and it's gonna save the whole video all right so once your whole video is done um, processing when you press save you get three three options either preview your video show your export options this is if you want to send to a different way or you can put save to camera I usually press save to camera roll because then now my whole project is gonna be saved into my camera roll, which is where all my pictures are at right here and here you can see my my video it's a two minute video with a, like created from green screen Hello, my name is and Jared. this is the video this that is my uh, we were working on all right that should be it for today that is how you do use green screen thank you very much if you have any questions contact me and i will let you know how to solve them thank you